and gentlemen, a two-time Premier League champion and a former two-time back-to-back champion of the world, the flying Scotsman, Gary I think this is going to be tasty. Anders against Barney. Anderson lost seven legs on the spin last week after being 4 0 up against Taylor. How much collateral damage was done by that, do you think? Well, I just spoke to Gary just before he went to the walk on. He said, That will never happen again. I'm going to put it right this <laughs> evening. Well, we all, we all say that. But Anderson, he's got this electrifying scoring power and he needs to use that. Get the down to the double and finish it. He can't let Barney into the game because Barney's a confident player. If Barney can start scoring well, taking out doubles, then Gary's going to have a big fight on his hands. Barney's confidence was not last week. His 50th birthday got battered by Van Gogh in 7-2. I just don't think I'm going to count that because Barney just went up there with the wrong attitude. He'd had a good, a good day on his birthday. Those sort of things happen. He's been around long enough to just put that to the back of his mind. And, and get into this game early on. Get it on, Rod Studd, Nigel Pearson in commentary. Well, as we saw, Dave, from the league table there, this is a real biggie, because fourth and fifth on the lead the league table, Anderson fourth, Barney fifth, simply on leg difference with Wright winning, Van Gerwen picking up a point, I think we can book their invitations for the 0-2, but after that, with Taylor losing to Wright, Nigel, it really opens things up for the pair we're witnessing here on the hockey. Barney wow, and the Flying Scots going to win here for either. Boy, that would really set them up, wouldn't it? Be a huge boost for their Premier League campaign, wouldn't it? Um, to put them onto the 16-point wow, mark. And um, this, by the way, the the last of the game of the nights where we have five matches. The last of the nights where some players play twice. So literally two Nine games seasons. left for these players after tonight. Peter Wright already, as you say, set fair for the 0-2. Michael Van Gerwen the same. We are effectively now down to a battle for the last two playoff places. And this could be a hugely significant game, as you say, Rod. Gary Anderson making a good start here. And Barnevel putting a little bit of pressure on. Good start to the game. Well, the pressure put on, and now the chance... Earned by Raymond Van Barneveld. Shanghai on the 20s. Needs the treble now. Can't find it. It's not there, Raymond. Two eights for Anderson then. These players, two of only five Premier League champions. Gary Anderson gets the first leg on the board. Nicely done. Van Barnevelt plays Chisnell in Sheffield next week. And then he finishes up against Peter Wright in Aberdeen. As far as Gary Anderson is concerned, James Wade next week in Sheffield. And his last game is MVG in Aberdeen. Fascinating running. Well, just over a month since their last meeting in the Premier League and never to be forgotten night in Rotterdam. And the Dutch... Darting hordes came to salute Van Barneveld and he delivered, demolishing wow, wow. Gary Anderson. Seven legs to two. Route in Rotterdam. Before that, Anderson had won the previous 11 meetings against the Doyen of Dutch Darts. So back on UK soil, he'll probably fancy his chances. Yeah, it was some atmosphere at uh, Rotterdam, wasn't it? Breathtaking. Wow. The walk on and the adulation for Van Barneveld. Sea of orange all throughout that magnificent venue. It really was a fantastic Wonderful. night. And Barney responded to the atmosphere and soaked up the support. Trouble 16 now for Gary Anderson. But he 
is going to be back for tops for a two-leg lead. Well, a raised eyebrow from Van Barnum because he knows that might be irrelevant and it is rendered irrelevant. As Anderson goes out, first dart, averaging 115 and bits here, the Flying Scotsman, he has the darts in leg three. He's won one of his last four, Barney has lost three of his last four, so they both spotted and stuttered a bit as the Premier League reaches its crucial phase. Yes, Raymond. Lovely Raymond. Wow. That's his first one out in his 51st of the Premier League campaign as well. Very impressive. And wow. Gary Anderson bounces back with one of his own. Anderson averaging 116 in the third leg of this match. Barney not bad either. Decent standard, isn't it, this one? Barney knows he needs to get a leg on the board sooner rather than later. If you have just joined us, a reminder, both on 14 points, Gary Anderson and Raymond van Barneveld. Gary occupying the final playoff spot as it stands. Two weeks to go after tonight. Now, Anderson. Trouble 17 would leave the pull. Now that means double 12, but he may not be coming back for it. He won't be if Barney can hit double top for a 1.05. Just below. Could that be costly? For a third straight leg for Gary Anderson. Making hard work of this one. Pressure shot now. Game Middle of the bed, brilliant. Gary well, we remind you, last week Anderson was 4-0 up on Taylor. It was going well. We lost 7-4. Well, in case of all that goes well ends badly for the Flying Scotsman. Yeah, that was incredible Nine fight back there from Phil the Power Taylor, wasn't it? Absolutely. One of, the, one of the greatest comebacks we've seen ever in the Premier League. Anderson. Oh, he was shell shocked. His head was going round like a merry go round on the hockey. But more composed tonight. 59. No treble. Well, Barney really does need to win this leg to hold his throat, get one leg under his belt. 100. Still a game to come after this, we'll remind you, Adrian Lewis and Michael Van Gerwen. 130. That's nice from Gary, switch down for treble 19. He's level with Van Barneveld now. Feeling more confident on the treble 19 there. Another one of those would do him nicely. Now, Van Barneveld to win his first leg for 20, leaves the ball. Brilliant, absolute vintage Van Barneveld. It's the ball to win his first leg. Indeed, nice vintage Van Barneveld, but vital Van Barneveld because. And he missed there, and Anderson gone out. He'd have been staring down both barrels. Would have been 4 0. Instead, it's 3 1. And he fires <laughs> in. His 52nd match for the tournament. Dave Chisdell topping the par with 60. Gary on 46. Yeah, he's a 180 machine, Chisnell, isn't he? Such a high scorer. Five two up earlier against MVG he was pegged back to six apiece. Chisnell seen some good stuff as always here on the right hockey, on the Barclay Card Arena here in Birmingham. Crowd loving every minute of this. Trouble seventeen. Oh, he needs the ball, or... Yes, he's gone for it, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Van Barnevel not even on a finish, I wondered whether Gary would go for it, but he was never in doubt, Rod. Wow. Well, 
nothing conservative there. Wow, right. Scotsman, was it? Just bang it straight in the middle of the board. No thought of setting something more manageable up. Wow, right. Fair finish, and the fans loved it here in Birmingham. Quite right, too. It was spectacular. Always full value wow. on a bullseye finish. He's gone off with a 174, but he can't follow it up. Sixteen. Averaging 111, Gary Anderson. Von Barneveld, 107. But with every time he has the dart, he needs to hold his throw here. One just to stay in the match. Big score for Gary could make it interesting, but that's not the best of starts. Good recovery. 85. Well, can he respond in kind? Will he go for the ball himself? Will you, Raymond? Oh, no. now, that would have been something, wouldn't it? I always felt he'd go for it, Rod. After what Gary did. <laughs> well, a game of snap on the 161 ball out would have been a delight. But as it is, Barney looking at double eight. Which will do the job just as nicely for 4 2. In you go. Yeah, nicely done with that last dart. Still only the one break of throw, the difference between these two. And look at this from Gary Anderson. We take that. First visit to the board. Now, can Barney fill it up? One. And whilst it still is only that one break of throw, there's hope for Raymond van Barneveld. 83. Strange last start from Gary. Forty-four. Yeah, crowd giving in the, uh, in the mood tonight as ever. Bizarre, so you're back and Robin right walking up by the canal earlier in Birmingham. He's the lot here, Barney. Well, right up, to catch up, he could have done with 240 and 180, but anyway, Anderson wants 144, and that will secure a setup. To Data, left by Anderson to go three clear again. But it would still only be that one break of throw. But of course, you'd always rather be in Anderson's position. Tops he needs for 5 2. Well, well, well. Here is the opportunity for that break of throw. What's been going on about? Thought it was in, didn't he? Double 10. Last chance. Oh, beautifully done! Game very much on here. Can Gary Anderson let a great position slip for a second successive week here? Yeah, he'll be furious with that. He's every right to be. The one-six-one out shot in the fifth leg put him four-one up. And the two darts that he missed at tops there could have put him five-two up. Now it's all on throw again. One. Whilst we praise Taylor for what happened last week, it was quite a collapse on Gary's part as well. One. Still got work to do here now, Gary Anderson then, after seeding that leg with the throw. A hold for Barney and he'll be level here. This is lovely, isn't it? That'll do him. Nice trouble, 18, back for 20. Nice work from Gary Anderson. And he's got the first dart. Will he go for trouble, 20? 97. Going to be back anyway, with Anderson not on a finish. 97. Maybe it requires 64. Late then. 
and this game is level as Barley runs off three consecutive legs. 4 0 up last week to Phil Taylor, lost 7 4. 4 1 up tonight against Barley, it's four apiece. Will it be playing on Gary's mind? It must be. He's talked about it before. Only because Rod Harrington asked him. <laughs> Don't blame Rod Harrington for this. This is a very important leg now, isn't it? As the Dutch fans hope it will be a fourth consecutive leg for their man, Barney. Anderson needs a rot stopper. Well, that's slack from Gary Anderson. One forty now for Raymond van Barneveld. Which is not going to get. Well, the lot here would make all the difference here for Anderson, 87 left. One up, one up, 39. 107. Well, choice here for Barney, a double to leave. One up, one up, 34, Gary. Good work from Raymond Van Barneveld, leaves double 16. Is he going to be back though? That's a slack first dart from Gary Anderson. Goodness me, trouble 19 is needed. He's got it, needs double eight. Oh, you can feel the pressure, can't you? Double 16 needed for Barney to take the lead. On either side, needs double eight. 16. Oh, can't believe it, Very cannot believe it. 16. Nor, I suspect, can Anderson, because he was fully expecting to hear game shot. He's hearing it now, all right. But the words Gary Anderson are coming off the back of it rather than Raymond Van Barneveld, and Anderson now leads 5-4, having regained the advantage. What a big leg, the pivotal leg that could be. Nige, the ninth there. Barney spurning three after Gary Anderson had missed the initial dart at double. Was it a real chance for the big Dutchman? Yeah, I'd suggest that's a massive boost for Gary Anderson. Impressive averages, 104 and a half for Gary, 102 and a half for Barney. 80. Big game in the context of the league table, then both players level on 14 points before this game. A draw would put a smile on Adrian Lewis's face. That's the best outcome that Adrian can hope for, isn't it? He's lost his opening game tonight against James Wade, Jack Potton. He's got Mike Van Gerwen in the final match of the evening to follow this one. And he's got Peter Wright next week and Phil Taylor on the last night in Aberdeen. Oh, he's hit the trouble 17, needs the ball. Already had that finish tonight in the fifth leg. But he will be back for 25. What's his MO these days? In the, back in the day, it was 1 double 12. Changed it recently. Double eight, the choice. That will do, and Anderson goes 6 4 up. He'll get at least a point, and he'll have both points if he holds throw here. Yeah, it's a decent comeback as far as Anderson's concerned because Van Barneveld had pegged him back, hadn't he? And now, oh, that's a great start from Gary. Switching one 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 lovely one trouble one 19. One so Barney fighting to save the match now. What a start. Can he fill it up? One man of 40. Gary at it again with the first dart. So confirmation then that Gary Anderson moves on to 15 points. And uh, he is above Phil Taylor on legs difference. And he can move it on to, on to 16. Barney on 14, but 
If he can win a couple more legs, he'll go on to 15 himself. And Adrian Lewis still not out of it. 13 points. If he can sneak a win against Van Gerwen in the next match, it will very much keep his hopes alive. Huge showdown to come last up tonight. Now for the match here. Trouble 16, leave double eight. Well, Barney's not on the finish anyway. Three darts when he comes back for the two-time former world champion Gary Anderson to defeat Van Barneveld. Cement his spot in the top four. Gary Anderson staves off a rally from Raymond Van Barneveld to defeat the great Dutchman here in Birmingham. Crucial win, 7-4, puts him bang on for a place in the playoffs.